ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब्ड इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस थर्ड प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 10 एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट डिटरमाइन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर द शेडेड एरिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस सो नाउ वी नो दैट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस इज इज इक्वल टू वाई स्क्वायर टाइम्स da and the integral of this the thumb rule for this formula is that the da the the differential strip that you people are going to define need to be parallel with the x axis right since this y tells us that that differential strip each and every part of the differential strip need to be at equal distances from the x axis so that is only possible when the differential area that you people are going to define is parallel to the x axis so let's say that this is my da differential area so this need to be parallel to the x axis right and each and every element of this differential area is at a distance of y from the x axis right so this is each and every element of this differential area is at equal distances and that equal distance is equal to y now let's say that from here to here let's say this is x this end of the differential area is located at a distance x from the uh, from the origin or from the y axis so this is x and this will be the coordinate of this curve will be minus x but this distance will be equal to that x right so this is this from here to here this is also x so the total width of this differential area is 2x this is 2x from here to here this is 2x and this height of this da is parallel to the y axis and this is a small change in y so we have to write that da is equal to 2x times dy 2x times dy so now if i write that this is i of x this is y square times da which is 2x times dy so now this means that we have to add up we have to find the moment of inertia of this da of this small differential strip and then we have to add up the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200 mm right so we have to integrate this from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200 mm so now the integration is with respect to y and we have to replace this x in terms of y and we are given this this edge of this uh, bounded area is defined by this 1 divided by 15 into x square so now from this we can write that x square equals to 50 y and if i take the square root on both sides so that will give us that x so this is x and this will be square root 50 and y square root or we can replace this square root by 1 to the power 2 power right so this is x so now i can write that i of x is equal to from 0 to 200 y square and let me write this two outside of the integration this is constant and this is x so in term in place of x we need to write square root 50 and y to the power 1 divided by 2 dy and let me write this square root 50 outside of integration as well since this is constant so now we are left with this so now we can write this is 2 square root 50 and now if i multiply both of these so the power will add up so that will be y 2 plus 1 divided by 2 So 2 plus 1 divided by 2. Let me find it using calculator. So this is 2 plus 1 divided by 2. So this is 5 divided by 2, right? So this is 5 divided by 2. And now this is dy. So this is i of x. 2 square root 50. And now we can integrate. This is y 5 divided by 2 plus 1. divided by that same power 5 divided by 2 plus 1 so 5 divided by 2 plus 1 is 7 divided by 2 this is to the power 7 divided by 2 and this is 7 divided by 2 and i can write this 2 in the numerator so that will become 2 divided by 
so this is i of x and this is 2 and remember that this integration is from y equals to 0 until y equals to 200 so we have to put those limits this is 2 into 2 so this is 4 square root 50 divided by 7 into y to the power 7 divided by 2 and from 0 to 200 so now if i put these limits this will be 4 square root 50 divided by 7 200 to the power 7 divided by 2 and if i put this 0 this will become 0 to the power 7 divided by 2 so we can write it like this so this is we can find it using calculator so this is 4 square root 50 divided by 7 multiply by 200 to the power 7 divided by 2. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can say that it is approximately 457.14 into 10 raised to the power 6. And the units of the moment of inertia of, for the area is millimeter square times millimeter square. So that is millimeter to the power 4. So this is millimeter to the power 4. So this is the moment of inertia for this blue shaded area which we were required to find. And this is about the x axis. So this is the solution of this third problem from chapter 10. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning and if you have any other questions do comment and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like all these videos if you people want me to continue solving Hebelstatics problem.